Welcome back to Cucabytes. I'm Emma Tavner. And I'm Jenna Fields. Okay, great. And um, we're just coming back from spring break. We had a week off from both Cucabytes and the Collegian. How was your spring break, Jenna? You know, pretty boring. Pretty boring. Yeah, I worked. I worked and um, didn't really do much else besides that. Yeah. I haven't really, d- nothing's really changed for me. Yeah. Which is my sleep the past two so weeks. Yeah, pretty much. Up. Yeah, my sleeping schedule is messed, right? Oh, it's messed up so bad, but it's okay. I've actually, like, just started to finally start chunking away at all the homework I've had to do. Because I have the next three days off, and that's, like, unheard of for me. So, doing I had good things. Yesterday, to bust out an article for Mary for this week's Collegian, which made me feel pretty good having done that so early this week yeah i'm excited i have like the next three days and i'm just gonna stay at my house do nothing stay in right here in my bed and do some homework and i couldn't be more excited to have three days at home <laughs> yeah i feel that i know recently i've been very stressed out with the amount of work that i have and like just i feel like we're all silently hoping that our professors are going to be understanding with us but what we don't know is that we're all kind of thinking that same way, especially I know um, like my coworkers that work in the central job, even people that don't work at my particular job, but also have classes to take care of online and they're mm-hmm. way over stressed out about it, like way overly stressed out. And um, because that's not the first worry we're now doing school from home. Yeah. We're more about what's going on in the world and when we're going to be done and stuff like that. No one's worrying about getting that math question done right now. Yeah. All over the board, you know, high school students that are online, college students. Yeah, and it's I really... Like... Sorry, keep going. No, I... Go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say that I feel like it's very important that um, even with the collegian that we get the word out there that you're not alone in feeling this way because of come to realize that everyone's kind of feeling this way and we're all really backed up on work because we're stressed out about what's going on outside of school so I feel like that's another point that's very important that we get out to students through the collegian in a way where it's like yeah we're we're okay we're all in the same boat and we're gonna get through it it's that motivation that students might need to get through the rest of the semester to maybe even get that reassurance that they're not alone in what they're going through yes for sure definitely important so last week OCC released that they are continuing to do their graduation but they moved it to August how do you feel about it Emma um I definitely wish our school would even somewhat consider something like that I definitely would like to hear like other people's opinions like the sophomores that are graduate that were supposed to be graduating in May and um see how they're feeling about that because I would definitely prefer our graduation just be postponed and still have it anyway instead of just canceling it as a whole like I'm kind of jealous of them and I really don't see why we can't do that if OCC is doing that you know Mm -hmm. how are you feeling he he submitted about it but the student who submitted didn't want their name on it because their fear of retribution and talking bad about the college Mm -hmm. but like, it, luckily they spoke out, but still, that's sad they're afraid to, you know, tell, put their name on it because they're not pleased with what's going on. Yeah, well, I would definitely agree that they're not alone, and some of the sophomores that um, would have been graduating in May would definitely prefer to have just a postponed graduation because it gives us that feeling of fulfillment after working so hard for at least two, sometimes even more than two years. Um. I feel like a lot of people are feeling that way. Um, There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that. At least from what I, how I can see it, we should be able to postpone it and still have it because it means something to people. So it's definitely important that people are coming to us and sharing their opinions. I know we had a lot of people um, even weeks ago that shared opinions on their graduations just being completely canceled. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be very important. Um, to maybe get a group of people, get that get that word out, get 
people to push and push and push and try to get graduation back on, but just maybe postponed a little bit, like even if it wasn't to the fall. It's it's yeah. a bummer. So I wish um I wish they would listen to us or even respond because I know that we've included a lot of people's opinions in the yeah. um collegiate about wanting graduation. At least a reason why they canceled it so early as well. Like just, you know, why did you choose to, you know, cancel graduation overall? Mm-hmm. Did you get a letter home saying that mm-hmm. they, yeah, I kind of don't know what happened to mine, but. Yeah, I got a letter in the mail and um, my dad came up and gave it to me because he, he thought it was like important information about what was going on the rest of the semester, but it was probably two weeks ago at least and. I just opened it, and I was like, oh, nope, they're just reminding me that they canceled my commencement, and I threw it right in the trash. Yeah, I same. Yeah, but there, I don't see a reason why we couldn't just postpone it, especially when it means so much to your students. If it means something to your students, then it should mean something to you, and you should put in an effort to just postpone it yeah. a couple months, maybe even longer than a couple months. If people don't want to come, the people that don't want to come don't have to come but some people it means so much to them because they've put in their all these past few semesters more than two years to graduate yeah and they put in this effort to get their degree and it's gone you you know come back next year yeah people that have overcome so much so much more than just schooling but it felt like maybe that day that they'd get their degree that it was all worth something what they were going through and it just means so much more than just four semesters of hard work and schooling like people are going through so much more on top of all this and it would have meant a real lot to them to be able to cross the stage and get their diploma definitely so hopefully hopefully we can change this hopefully we'll well people will stand up with us and We'd love to hear your opinions. You can email us. At cucabytes at gmail.com. Or cucacollegian at gmail.com. Either one. You just let us know. Let us know that we're the only ones, that we're not the only ones that are thinking this. And that maybe you would want your graduation to be postponed instead of canceled completely. Like, even if you're a freshman and you still have a whole year to go. Some people couldn't even imagine this happening to them either. The so. kids next year graduating don't want to share their graduation with people who got theirs canceled. Exactly. It's their special day. Oh, but we have to share with 2020 people? How is that fair to them? Yeah, right. Okay, in other news, um, we had a poetry contest. The deadline was Tuesday, March 31st. Mm-hmm. All of the winning poems, there were cash um, prizes. First prize was $50, second prize was $30, and the third prize was $20. And all of the winning um, poems are going to be submitted into the Creative Writing Club's journal. Let's listen. You know, I'm submitting work. I'm going through workshop classes with Mark right now. So hopefully I can get some pieces in. Hopefully other people will submit pieces. Hopefully we'll get a lot of feedback from the poetry contest that even if they weren't the first three winners, that we can get a lot of people's um, work published in that. Maybe even if it was something about what's going on in our world right now such as the coronavirus I feel like that'd be effective for getting those published because you can see the evolution in the journals as well what does the collegian mean to you what what does it mean to you it means like me like for still being able to work on it and participating it's like a group like a the collegian means to me like a group of like like a society but not really like it's you know a close circle we are all very close now as well it we take our time we put the effort in so we can put news out to everyone mm-hmm. and like it's just a great environment I'm trying to think of the right words to say things now yeah but like and also for us like i like being able to expand my different types of writing because i've never been a writer yeah. end up being really good for me yeah, How, like, what does the collegian mean to you? Um, I would definitely agree with you. And I said that um, when you said that you, it was a definitely different style of writing. I've never um, experienced the journalism format of writing. So I, I felt it was very um, effective and important for me to learn that. 
on top of meeting a whole bunch of new people, great people in this group. And I know that I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to leave it to Ben now this upcoming semester. And I'm kind of excited to see who gets involved that's new or what goes on with it, how it goes, even what's going on in the fall semester, because who knows what's going to happen then. But anyway, it was the first time I felt like I was, I don't know, doing something effective with my extracurriculars, I suppose. Like, feels, uh, it's definitely different. It, it's fulfilling in a sense when you know that you're informing people. It's a different kind of fulfillment and a different kind of activity that I've never experienced before until this semester. Um, definitely very important to me. A lot of responsibility that I had in the, throughout the whole semester that was kind of a different dynamic with people, I suppose, for me too. And um, it was a great, it was a great experience, I think. I'm ready to finish up the last four weeks strong. I was excited to do it, so excited in the beginning of the semester. I'm still excited to finish it up. Yeah. I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, definitely a piece of pride that comes from it when you know that it's been going on for so long at CCC and that even for one semester that we were a part of it and that we kept it going. I think that's very fulfilling to think about. Um, it was a great experience, honestly. Overall, we would meet what at least once a week and have we would all have a good time together and laugh together and create something that is now going to be at the college forever there for people to look back on in 20 years when it's still going on and they're wondering what was happening especially during the coronavirus so <laughs> yes for um, sure definitely fulfilling a great experience I'm sad that it was so short but I'm happy that we got to push through this long and even through um not attending classes or not being allowed on campus yeah that we still stuck with it because I don't know it was great for me yeah Emma just to lighten the mood have you done any like fun quarantine things that people have been doing like I know a lot of people have been like cutting their hair dyeing their hair doing stuff nothing much with like Personally, I don't know. Anything, like, fun. I'm trying to think. Usually I tell myself that I don't have the time to, like, watch Netflix or something. And I've been watching a lot of things. So I guess, like, that's fun for me. Um, the other day, for the first time in a long time, I, like, really, really deep cleaned my room. I just spent hours cleaning my room. And I'm still feeling great <laughs> because of that. But um, not I don't I wouldn't say not much besides just relaxing really. I mean I work so I take the advantage of the time that I have at home to not just have decompress, yourself. decompress and not be so stressed out because I'm starting to really now overstress with oh god it's it's horrendous. I have <laughs> never really like, had a migraine in my life. And at least three times in the past two weeks, I've had such bad migraines where I literally can't get out of bed. Like, just oh. stress. But I've taken care of it. Clean, deep clean my room. <laughs> I'm just doing intense self-care, which you usually never do anyway. So I'm doing great, honestly, <laughs> with the spare time that I have. Have you yeah. done it? I see you You dyed your hair. Hopefully yeah. someone has noticed if you've been watching Cupid Bites so that Jenna's hair <laughs> looks different. Yeah, it's purple. Is it yeah, anything else? It looks really good, by the way, but anything uh, else you've been doing? I made a TikTok yesterday. Yeah. Like, I actually made one? See, I actually downloaded TikTok. Yeah. Because I hadn't until I wouldn't let myself until spring break, because I told myself I needed to do homework. <laughs> but once spring break came around, I downloaded it, and it's been bad. I made it's a singular TikTok of my cat. Yeah. videos of how crazy she is. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? And I downloaded all these coloring sheets and printed them out and I've been doing coloring books again. Oh, that's fun. That's but so much fun. They're a little more adult-like. 
So, but it's fun. It gets me something to do when I'm not doing schoolwork. I've spent a lot of time on TikTok and like, don't get me wrong. I love dog videos and like, that's the majority of yeah. my TikTok, but there's a lot of cool like DIYs I see on there that I <laughs> want to try. Like embroidering. I'm like, I just, why I not? I talked about that. I'm trying to embroider right now so I could do that. Yeah. Or even like people making their own clothing, people completely ruining the room and changing the whole entire thing like yeah, i'm just like <laughs> wow give me some spare time and i swear to god i'll do something something real crafty yeah. <laughs> well i feel like my dog could be tiktok famous because he loves to sing it's a command that he's learned so if i tell him to sing he'll just howl forever it's so annoying but i feel like he has so much personality that he could be a tiktok dog my t- Sing! Sing! <coughs> yes, sing! <coughs> sing! <coughs> I love it. Say hello. Very cool. My old fart. Okay, so look forward to seeing our um, new issue of The Collegian that would be coming out early next week. We yes. should be out before Monday, by Monday at the very latest. So um, keep checking your school emails for those. And um, we'd love to hear from you to get included in The Collegian and both Cugabytes. I'll remind you once again that it's cugacollegian at gmail.com or cugabytes at gmail.com. Yeah. Hope you're doing That's great. Tough. Hope your spring break was great, and welcome back. We're almost there. Four weeks left. Yeah, let's get through it together. And we are looking forward to informing you and hopefully hearing from you. Yeah. (laughs) Thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. And Cucabites, goodbye. Wait, hold on. The crib universe. Oh my god. What does oh, that mean? It's also for Zoom University. Right. And in the emblem of like their thing, it's a computer and a roll of toilet paper. Yep. <laughs> and after we get through this shit, I'm buying one of those. That's it. I did I know. University. Well, it was for my friend's birthday because we all obviously we're all home from college and our group message that we have is like bored of shit so we made it I don't know some stupid frat sweatshirt but I just love it <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a on the front. <laughs> <laughs>